try to start us off on the right foot here. Like, welcome to the whiskey vault. When did you officially give up? <laughs> oh, dude, it was decades ago. Like you just you decided I it don't want to be decades ago. Interesting or intelligent or cool or no no no, no. good looking. <laughs> I didn't give up on any of those things. I am all of those things. Cool, good looking and interesting. I gave up on caring whether or not anyone else thought so. I, let's have it, let's, <laughs> if you want to have an apathy contest, I could be way more apathetic. Oh, that's true. Not that I care. <laughs> this is a gift from Rory Winsett. Rory Winsett, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> This is interesting. From New Orleans. Yes. From the Why did uh, you say Irish? 73 distillery because they blended together yeah. Irish whiskey and American whiskey. Okay. Now, according to him, because I couldn't find this on the website, it's a blend of 10 year old corn whiskey and three year old Irish whiskey. Corn whiskey and Irish whiskey corn, blended together. Corn and Irish. Yeah. I, I got to tell you, I don't know if I like the nose. It's very budget Irish. Now think about that. Actually, um, if the three-year-old Irish was grain column still, and the corn whiskey is probably column still, then we've got a whole batch of grain column still style, which would be closer to like Jameson, right. budget Bushmills. Right. Um, it could be closer to like a Sexton or a Slane cast. It's probably Sexton. But even those, they have more of like this, a uh, little bit more the of a... Multi musty well, biscuity. Uh, mm, yeah, the, the, the more rich, full-bodied, desserty flavors. Uh, a little bit more of a savory vanilla. And this short, is very metallic sugar vanilla. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a mustiness to it, though. Yeah, no, the must... The must... <laughs> There, I don't know if I'm... Hopefully I love the taste more. The nose isn't really doing it for me. Not doing it for me. I am getting uh, just neon flashing sign that says young. Both yeah, but there's supposedly 10-year-old corn whiskey in here. Uh, I wonder if... But that 3-year-old Irish is just like swamping it out. It is. Like 10-year-old corn? Some They Man. mentioned on their website a cognac cask, but I can't figure out where the cognac cask comes into it. I could, I'm getting more budget than corn. And may, I'm assuming maybe like a yellow dent or something. If they didn't mention a specific variety of corn, it may have been oh, just a classic Oh, interesting. So what if you mixed mellow corn with... Oh, hold on. Slain, sexton. With sexton. Hold on. Or not sexton. Just straight up Jameson. This is much more enjoyable on the taste. Yeah, it's way more Irish in the taste. It, the nose, not for me. Uh... A little bit too metallic sugar and musty funk. The taste, though. It's kind of nutty. A little nutty. bit. You get the vanilla. You get the, the Irish vanilla. What I'm not finding, I don't think, I can't really pick out what elements the corn whiskey is bringing to this. So I'm going to pour some Jameson mm. into this glass. Definitely has that um, bright, shiny ethanol alcohol note. Mm. That's in there for sure. But if you're like if you're a fan of okay. a fan of the Jameson, I don't think you're gonna be left out in the cold here. Wow, the Jameson compared the straight on A B comparison, it comes across as a black licorice on that nose. Yeah, but it's also a little thin and watery on the palate compared to what we're trying right now. This actually has more body and more character to it. Oh, it does. I think, we're, well, remember we just drank Ard Bay. No, I know, I know. Yeah, but, but that was several minutes ago. We've given mm -hmm. some time. Uh, yeah. This actually has more, um, and I use the word depth with an asterisk, yeah. compared to like the budget Irish lines. This has more depth and body than that tier mm -hmm. of Irish whiskey, and I keep um, wanting to compare it to Irish because the notes that I'm getting on the, no on the taste here. Dude. What did you do? Did you mellow corn. Did you make mellow? Smell how close mellow corn smells to what we were smelling. You mean compared to this? Yeah. Like you can see the elements of what the corn whiskey new barrel. Yeah. Yeah. Not necessarily new barrel, but. Yeah. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna add these together. I couldn't put my finger on it. There's like a, a Canadian, a budget Canadian caramel note on this without any tweaking and adjusting. Dude, this is superior. 
but it's within 20% of what I just did. Mm. You just combine Jameson and yellow corn? Mm. Yeah, mellow corn. What did I say? Yellow corn, because oh. of the yellow oh. labeling. <laughs> Hey, wait, 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 that's the I'm, same thing I'm, you I'm have. I'm smelling, making sure that it's the that's same. That's your glass. There's a difference. No. Jeez. I left you some. Because I'm out of practice. It's within 20%. Yeah, it's very close. So Jameson and so, Melicorn, and yeah, you're, you're in the territory. In almost equal proportions, a little more Jameson than Melicorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting close to this, but this is better... If you had to pick my favorite, this one has more character to it. Yeah, it did get dialed in a bit. Mm -hmm. And what was, what proof did they come out at? 45%. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. And this is 50. And that's going to be And this is 40. 40 so, so 55, 40. 45%, 40. yeah. <laughs> KT Bugaboom. Katie Bug Kaboom. Katie Bug Kaboom. It's very prestigious. Mm -hmm. Katie Bug Kaboom. 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 Given the choice, would you prefer to be able to fly or become invisible? Fly, no question asked. I, so here's the thing. If my life, nothing else about my life changed, fly. However, if I was able to be invisible, right. I have a whole new career path in front of me. Because you're sketchy. Yeah. I'm not sketchy. I've got a bunch of other things that I would like to do with my life if I could also be invisible. Really? Yeah. That's so shady, man. I know. Mostly assassination <laughs> government work for contract hire. I mean, <laughs> vacation... Could get vacation packages, fringe benefits. Yeah. Fly though, fly. And then people are like, well, you don't get super strength. Why would you want to fly if you get, like, what do I want to carry? <laughs> and uh, you don't necessarily fly at super speeds, right? If you just fly whatever speed you want. No, no, no. I'm saying if you fly, maybe you just fly as fast as a good jog. If you could turn invisible, mm -hmm. this is assuming you're the only person in the world who can turn invisible and you're the world's most sought after contract killer. Oh, yeah. That would, that would assume that uh, if I were to fly, I could be the only person in the world to fly. Yeah. So, do you think maybe there's a market for appearances? <laughs> for a flying the world's guy. only flying man. Yeah. And I don't even Not have if... to. I don't even have to murder people. No, no. Here's the thing. <laughs> Not if your maximum speed is a small jog. <laughs> Shut the hell like up. that's good. Everyone's here's what's gonna happen. The flying guy. You go by <laughs> basically a small jog space, and everyone's like. <laughs> you, I, you, didn't even fly, like, you didn't even fly in the traditional yeah. motion. You actually just have to. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> Ben Eller, sports question. If you are interested in sports, what sports do you like or follow, and who's your team and player uh, that you follow and why? I have a, a random answer to this question. You I'm did. not a sports guy. Right. Not, I mean, I, I like college football just because it's fun and we live in Austin and right. UT and whatnot. Yeah. I have two favorite sports to watch. Mm. Tour de France is one of my favorite things to watch on when it happens. You have to, I save it and watch the whole stage because it happens in the middle of the night. Okay. During the Tour de France, all for a month basically, I watch every stage. Then, I don't play golf. Mm -hmm. Do not play golf. I, I really, right. really enjoy watching golf on TV. Yeah, it's relaxing. It's so relaxing. No, I'm like, if I'm sitting with a drink, I could sit on a couch and watch people golf all day long right. and just be like, it's so quiet and right. I just feel like my whole life is at peace. I'm not a sports guy. Uh, interestingly enough, I'm actually really good at sports. At least I was whenever I was... Hand-eye coordination is oh, yeah. a thing. Oh, yeah. No, I'm like scary good at sports. Uh, golf, though. Mm. Horrible at golf. That was the most fun I ever had in sports. With Because uh, it was like, who knows what's going to happen no, no, next? No, no, no. no. <laughs> because none of my other friends are good at golf either. Oh, okay. So we'd be like, you know, uh, seniors in high school, college, we go to the golf courses. <laughs> and the nine iron... Uh. I'm a beast with a nine iron. I'm either driving with it, or I'm just getting it like the last couple of inches on the green there. I can just destroy any of my ass hat friends with a with nine only iron. one club. Consistency. Tiger Woods. That's what we've all been thinking. Uh, with water, did this change? It got spikier. Like all the barrel notes were woken up. Uh, for me. And oily. The, for me, the metallic, the metallic character of that just yeah, whoa, absolutely jumps like, into. Like right. aluminum can. Yeah. Soda. So, uh, I think this is probably made for ice or cocktails. But, dude, if you like Irish whiskey, yeah, I mean, well, they hit it down if the category. If Jameson is your scene, that could actually be 
interesting for you. Yeah. Here's to finding, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal your liver, sorry. And if you drink, may, may you drink with us.